Hello everyone. So Alex here for a video on how to use SMrush, the pro version, to help you find um, niches and keywords that you can most likely rank for. The idea behind this is that websites like this one right here, wisegeek.com, or Ease on Articles, Go Articles, Hub Pages, they rank for like thousands of keywords, and a lot of these keywords they rank for are very easy to compete and beat with someone doing a website that's properly optimized for that keyword and the niches. So the one I chose for this video is Wise Geek, and what you want to do is you just copy the URL and bring it to the SMrush window. So here you can see that I put it at the top. Um, you want to take off the HTTP thing. I'm not too sure why, but that usually makes it not work. So then you do search. And you see a few brief keywords here. This is the, the organic keywords is what you want to look at. Um, since we're targeting the US, most likely, you want to make sure also that it's the US tab that's selected here. But if you are targeting like if you wanted to build websites for UK keywords you could just click on UK or I see France here too if you were searching for French keywords so what you want to do after is since we have the pro version is you click on the full report and then you'll have the list of all the keywords so here you have all the keywords um, sorted by position these are not always accurate but what's really cool is sometimes you can see that they're like if they're position number one, then most likely you can definitely beat that. Uh, you can definitely get number one for that keyword. It's a pretty interesting keyword. Why do dogs eat grass? And it says that 8,000 people search that a month. Seems pretty high to me. But I guess people are really interested in that. Uh, a tab that I really like is the cost percentage. Basically, it usually by default sorts it with the cost percentage. And why this is really good is because it tells you basically um, it's like a calculation of the volume times the CPC so I usually try to sort my keywords by cost percentage so an easy, really easy way to do this because this is like as you can see like 100,000 plus keywords so do an export in Excel and this can usually take almost a minute because these Excel spreadsheets can be pretty big. So here it is, open in Excel. So what I like about Excel is it just makes it really easy to sort all of this. So what I usually do is either sort by search volume, and then you would obviously go largest to smallest, or you could go by traffic cost. That way you'll probably have high volume keywords with high CPCs at the top. Like for example here you have like this Jonas Acting, which for some reason has a humongous CPC. But I wouldn't really trust that. That's like too huge. Um, so you can start sorting like liability insurance. It says that Wise Geek is position eleven. That's pretty far below commercial insurance so going from the top uh, you can see that they have this acidophilus keyword that's the one like most expensive I guess so they have a search volume of 12,000 and a CPC of 2.25 which is definitely pretty good and they are ranking number one for it. So what I would do here is I would copy this keyword, go to the keyword tool, because you want to double check that the search volume is uh, correct. And wow, like the keywords, it's actually 40,000 a month, which is even bigger than SMrush predicted. Uh, usually I would just double check just look at the rankings quickly 
And yeah, it looks like Wise Geek is first. So let's check like their PR. Okay, well that's good. Forty eight. Yahoo backlinks. So yeah, that's a pretty easy keyword to rank for in terms of like backlinks, but as you can see like Wikipedia is number two. So what I think would happen with this keyword is that yes you'll probably rank for it, but it might take you like many months just because you're probably competing with established websites and these rankings aren't like volatile but you can definitely reach number one with some time and effort another thing I like to do um, for these type of keywords which are like more information based I go to like the website and check the type of information it has on it and I mean this is pr pretty simple it's nothing really special so this kind of tells me that I could definitely make like a web page on this topic I'm not saying I would because I don't really build a website just to target one keyword even if this one looks pretty good but th if I had a website around like bacteria because acidophilus is a digestive bacteria I think then I would definitely at least make a web page that talks about this bacteria and try to rank it and eventually beat wise geek so going down the list I'll try to find something else that could look interesting um, the idea behind like using SMrush is not only to like spot good keywords but maybe give you good niche ideas ideas because like I said this um, acidophilus keyword I run just make a web page about that but it could be an interesting um, like niche idea to do let's say a website on all like on digestion in general like I just thought about that right now and maybe there's a market for that and in all the keywords that this website would target I would definitely add this one others, others that you could could spark an idea would maybe be this liability insurance one commercial insurance and then you might want to do uh, insurance related website of course that would most likely be really competitive so I wouldn't recommend financial keywords to a newbie but it could be something you try um, let's go down the list I guess pre-menopause so Maybe you would want to make a website about menopause, and that could be a keyword to target. Oh yeah, this why do dogs eat grass, which for some reason has a ridiculous amount of searches. Um, again, I would make a website about why do dogs eat grass, but um, maybe if you have a pet or something, and you're like, oh yeah, I should probably do a website about dogs and this would be a keyword you could target so let's say you did so let's say you did want to do a website about that topic um, you would go back to the Google keyword tool and you could put that uh, keyword idea which I just did and yeah surprisingly right now the keyword tool it says that has 27,000 exact searches so the idea behind how you would like combine SMrush and using Niche Refinery would be that then you can just download this and export it to Niche Refinery. So here we'd want to do as usual, which would be create new job. It could be dogs. So get the keyword. Select it. Can it be processing? So yeah, obviously here I wouldn't just uh, put that keyword. Like I would go. This would be part of a big research on dogs. So ideally, you would want to do also um, export keywords about dogs, um, dog food, and whatever else you can come up with. I never did a website about pets, so I have no idea but you would want to definitely export and 
upload a lot of different keywords around that topic to niche refinery.